Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a really good day right now. So yes, as you can see, as you can tell from the title, we are doing an updated what I feed my German Shepherd, Shadow. So this is Shadow, he is almost six years old. Um, he's turning six in February next year. I've done previous what I feed my German Shepherd videos, um, and, but my last one was a really long time ago, I think maybe two years ago or even more than that. So yeah, this is an updated one. I will just point out that he is grain free. So everything that I'll be showing in this video, everything that he consumes is grain free. Should we tell them a little bit about you? Yeah, like how much you weigh. All right, he is 38 kgs. Um, I got him when he was four months old. Four months or six months old. I, it's been such a long time now. <laughs> he is a purebred German Shepherd. He has hip dysplasia, so arthritis. So you'll see that a lot of his diet is targeted towards his arthritis and you know hip dysplasia. Throughout his life, I have changed his diet about two to three times now. He was on a raw diet two, three years ago for about two years. And recently, as we've moved into this new house, I have changed his diet to be more suited towards our life now. Just, yeah, I guess how we live in this house and it's, it's a lot smaller than the old one. So he's no longer on a raw diet, but that doesn't mean that he's not getting the same amount of nutrients and benefits from being on a one. So yeah, I am, I'm totally supportive and such an advocate for the raw dog diet, but let's just be honest here, he's not on that. So let's just get that out of the way. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is probably their foundation of everything. So that's like his main meal the main food that he's on and other things are really just add-ons and additional things to his main meal. So Origin, which am I covering it? Yeah, there we go, the blue bag behind me. So he's been on Origin Original for a year and a half now and that is his main base. So what I love about it is not only is it grain free, but it's 85% meat, fish and eggs, 15% fruit and vegetables so it's really nutrient dense and it's what they call whole prey there are no glutens grain tapioca potato pea protein or protein extracts at all so it's a hundred percent meat ingredients from animals that are actually deemed fit for even human consumption which is insane it's got freeze dried chicken and a turkey liver in it uh, it's just really really good for dogs in my opinion we have looked at, and he's tried different grain-free dry food like this. Um, there is one that he used to be on that was a lot more expensive actually, but I just really like this. I've really, really liked this brand for a long time now, and he, he likes it. So if I literally read you off like the 10 first ingredients in Origin, it is just, it, you'll see how good it is, okay? So, fresh chicken milk, frozen things, fresh turkey milk, seven things, fresh whole eggs, seven things, fresh chicken liver, six things, fresh whole herring, six things, fresh whole flounder, it was just everything that he was getting in his raw cubes anyway, but now it's just dried. <laughs> so yeah, that's his main food and he gets it once a day. So he gets a pretty large meal once a day and throughout the day he will get other things that I'm gonna show you guys later. On top of his origin meal, he gets the can from Ivory Coat, which I'm gonna grab one. So quick disclaimer, he used to be sponsored by Ivory Coat. We got a lot of these and I actually really, really like it. I don't take anything sponsored if we're not actually gonna use it day to day and if it's not something that I'm gonna incorporate into his like actual life, I'm not gonna take a sponsor. So I'm really pleased that they did end up sponsoring Shadow. So they've got different flavors of this, but the one that Shadow is having right now is the lamb and kangaroo stew, which is exactly what it says it is. There, this again is grain free. All it is in here is just lamb and kangaroo bits and pieces with some veggies as well. So let me quickly find you. Okay, so lamb, chicken, pea flour, sweet potato, kangaroo, peas, carrots, blah, blah, blah. There are vitamins and minerals in this. So this isn't exactly like, you know, the best of the best of like the most amazing dog food ever, but it is pretty pure to me. And the fact that there are chunks of like actual meat in this, a lot of it, like I would say 95% of this can is actual meat. And I see like a lot of peas and carrots in this as well. Okay, so what I do is crack open one of these, put it in the microwave for 30 to 60 seconds, just to warm it up, just so it's not, you know, cold and like, I don't know, gluey, and then put it on top of his origin dry food. And he just loves it. He demolishes it so fast. He loves his 
daily meal. I really like this. I think this is really good for dogs. It's it's canned food. I mean, as you know, similar to human canned food, it's not the best thing for you, but it's really convenient and I like the ingredients of this and Shadow loves this. I'm just gonna say though that I don't like a lot of other dog canned food that I've seen on the market. To be honest, 95% I don't like. I don't like the ingredients of, I don't like the look of them. Yeah, I don't like the contents of them at all. This one I do like, so I am picky when it comes to canned food and he's never really been on canned food until he you know, was introduced to this and I'm happy with this one. So as you can see, what we do with the origin food, we do put it in a plastic container. That plastic container right behind him, it's just quick and easy and convenient to take in and out. We've got a little scooper in there. Um, yeah, because having the bag as itself and just having that in your, I don't know, kitchen or whatever, it's not that convenient and it's really not a airtight seal so we do like to just put it in a container like that that actually can wheel around okay i want to just quickly talk about meal toppers meal toppers are just things that you sprinkle on top of the meal this is what we have been going with for the past year i really really like this brand it is a new zealand based brand new zealand made it's i love it um, it is purely just freeze dried meat Okay, so like freeze-dried meat, freeze-dried organs, vegetables, there's peas in this, there's carrots in this. It is purely just freeze-dried. Okay, let me just read you off the ingredients in all of... I mean, okay, so you've got three different flavors. You've got that blue one, you've got the green one, and this yellow one. The yellow is cage-free chicken. The green, we've got lamb and venison. So this here is cage-free chicken and organs, New Zealand king salmon, peas, blueberries, carrots, flaxseed, citrus fiber, glucosamine, green lipped muscle, glucose, glucosamine from green lipped muscle and kelp. So honestly, it's just freeze dried meat, which is really, really good. This is very nutrient dense and because it is, you know, just purely freeze dried meat. So sometimes if we're not using the can, we do put on a little bit of this on top of his origin stuff. This is only for meal time. It is not as a treat, but I do like these. They are expensive, but they're worth it. It's, I really do like these. <laughs> Other things that he consumes throughout the day are what I would call treats, but to me, they're kind of just additional nutrients to his life, to his body, because they're all grain free, and you'll notice that they are all, are they all freeze dried? I think so. I think even this is freeze dried, so I love this, but I think they have stopped selling these because I can't find them anymore, but this is the Superior Farms Pet Provisions, 100% lamb, 100% natural it's made in new zealand they're dog waffles and yeah they're basically just dried lamb waffles i love these every single dog that i've met and that i've given this to loves these they are just pure lamb and it comes in a pretty big bag as well it's 280 grams and these last a really long time and you'll see i do have a packet behind me there which is running very low and this is just a brand new one but yeah like i said i don't think they sell this anymore unfortunately but something very similar on the same line is this plant and ranch deer jerky this is just deer meat so again freeze-dried deer meat can you just tell that there is a pattern here of freeze-dried i almost feel like this could be a drinking game every time i say freeze-dried take a shot <laughs> because this is getting a little bit overboard with the amount of freeze-dried stuff he gets but it truly is the next best thing from being raw so obviously raw is the best it is you know fresh just your natural raw meat you know your juicy bloody meat in my opinion freeze-dried meat is the next best thing and because we cannot provide them with raw meat currently the next best thing is what we have on this table okay so we've got king salmon treats as well which again it is which again it is just dried salmon tails so this is one of my favorite treats for him the Omega Plus brand I love. It is New Zealand made and it's a brand that I've always consistently gone back to and always fed them with. They have a lot of different treats and Omega Plus also sells um, salmon oil. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the Omega Plus salmon oil. So they used to sell just pure salmon oil. They might still have that, but this bottle that I have is the King Salmon and, and Antarctic krill oil, so fish oil, salmon oil. This is really, really good for their skin and coat. There are so many benefits of omega-3, you can look it up, I'm not gonna go into detail, but 
this is the brand that I highly recommend. It's really convenient. It's not super expensive. Love it. Absolutely love it. And Shadow loves this too. Okay, so this little container here actually contains something completely different to what the label is because what I've done is finish this container and just use it as a container. <laughs> Green lipped muscle is something that I want to speak about because this is the one item that is purely targeted um, for his arthritis and his you know hip dysplasia. Green lipped muscle has so many benefits to it for humans and for dogs. It's obviously a really good source of omega-3. It's a seafood. Green lipped muscle has naturally occurring glucosamine in it, which glucosamine, there's research that it's really good for bones and joints and all that mobility. I would say it is definitely, it's definitely played a major part in helping me maintain his hip dysplasia. So I, I think I'm going to do an update video soon on his hip dysplasia because last year we got another scan and the scan showed that his hip dysplasia is still maintained so it's not gotten worse, it doesn't get better, arthritis doesn't get better, it can only go worse or you can maintain it by the way. So really really good news and I have to say that green lodge muscle has played a vital part in that with a lot of other things too but I am a massive advocate for green lipped muscle and I do put it on his food um, whether it's on a stew or on the freeze-dried um, animal like us, little freeze-dried meat, I do sprinkle it on, so in this container, I sprinkle it on as food about two to three times a week. So there are days that th there will just be no salmon oil, no green lipped muscle, other days there will be one or the other, so I alternate between the salmon oil and the green lipped muscle powder. If your dog has arthritis, if it's an older, more senior dog, if it's got hip dysplasia right now, I highly, highly recommend Green Lift Muscle. So the one that I get is, I think, from the brand Pro Vita, um, and it comes in a pretty big packet. It is expensive, but it's worth it, and it does last a really, really long time. Love it. Absolutely love Green Lift Muscle. Okay, lastly, this is another treat that he gets. These are bully sticks, and they are essentially just... 100% again, ear dried beef sticks. This is made in New Zealand, so I do like this brand. Um, I get this from his local pet store. Let me just say, I'll just I'll just be honest about this, okay? This is very, very expensive. Almost to the point where I'm like, is this even like worth it? This is so expensive. There are 50 sticks in here, and I'm pretty sure this was like $75 on sale. Okay, so that's kind of crazy. But he loves them. It's just so good for chewing. It's so good for just kind of like an activity that he does. Um, it takes a little bit longer than, you know, or the other freeze-dried treats that he gets because he really has to munch onto these. And these are a real treat. I will really make him work for this. And a lot of times it, I tie it in with mental stimulation games. So whether we hide this somewhere really, really hard to find, or he has to do other things to be able to get one of these. He loves it. He loves trying to find these and he is just, in full work mode, sniffing in the garden, around the house, whatever, like wherever we've hidden it, to try and get this. So he really does like it. I do recommend Bully Sticks if you can, if if you're able to get a hold of these. That is basically everything that Shadow consumes at the moment. So we've kept it very simple. He doesn't have a ton of things going on. All of these things we've been using for a long time now, they're all consistent things in his life. Um, it's not great to always be changing out your dog's diet and all of that, it's just not really good for their stomach, okay? So everything here I've paid with my own money, nothing here is sponsored apart from the ivory coat cans. So yeah, I do stand by these things, I totally am an advocate for them and I would recommend it to my family and friends and anyone else that I know. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. As always, every item, if they are still available, will be linked in my description below. You can go and find them, you can go and purchase them. I hope you guys like this video, I hope you guys enjoy this, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.